All right, when making the body of the Minecraft Creeper, go ahead and give yourself quite a long tail. We're gonna use the tail again as a rounds marker. Start your slip knot right in the middle there. This time though, we are going to chain seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Great. Turn, and we're going to work back on this work. Increase in the second chain from the hook. So one, two, put two single crochets. So one, and two, single crochet in the next four. And four, increase in this last space or put two single crochets in that last space. One, two, okay, you're going to take this tail and smoosh it against your work and you're going to repeat on the other side. We're just going to go around. So in that same spot, I want you to increase again or put two more single crochets. So one and two for a total you should have four single crochets in that corner piece right there you're going to single crochet in the next four spaces so grab that one loop right there yarn over pull through four and in that last space right there you're going to put two single crochets where you're going to increase so one and in that same spot two perfect go ahead and yarn over your marker tail pull through your loop you have finished this is round one. Okay, go ahead and slip stitch in the first space. Yarn through and pull all the way through. Chain one, single crochet in the first space. In the second space, you're going to single crochet and then double crochet in that same spot. And then one more single crochet in that same spot. We're just forming a corner. Do four single crochets. One, two, three, four. Okay, in this corner, we're going to do one single crochet. double crochet in that same spot and a single crochet. I'm going to put one 
single crochet in the next space, one single crochet in the next space. So there's two single crocheted spaces in between each corner. And then the next corner, or next space, we're going to do a corner. So we're going to do one, a double, and a single crochet in that one. Great. And then four single crochets. Four. And in this one right here, we're going to do a corner. So it's going to be a single a double and a single and in this last space we're going to put one more single all right take the tail and slip stitch it or slip it right through your loop. Perfect. There is our base, our bottom. In this stitch right here, we're going to slip stitch this row closed and chain one. For our third row, we're going to single crochet in the back loops only, kind of like we did in the for the head. You want to have a total of 24 stitches here. So, one, two, remember you're looking for that V, you're going to stick your crochet hook right in the middle of the V and just go in the back part. and 24. Pull your marker through your loop. Go ahead and slip stitch this in to close that row. Perfect. Okay, chain one. And now we're going to single crochet in each space around going through both loops. So we're not doing a back loop only this time around. We're going to make sure we have both, we're going underneath both loops. So single crochet, one single crochet in each space around.
and 24. Great. Pull that through. Go ahead and slip stitch into the first single crochet of that row to just close up that row. All you are doing now is single crocheting in each space around for a total of 14 rows. So you want to reach row 14 and then stop. All you're doing again is single, putting one single crochet in each space all the way around, then slip stitching the row closed, chaining one, and then again putting one single crochet in each stitch around, each space around, and then slip stitching it closed and chaining one. You're going to stop at row 14, okay? I have faith in you. I know you can do it. I will see you very soon, okay? Keep going. You got this. All right, fantastic. We have just finished row 14. I went ahead and already cut a long tail for myself to sew the body onto the Minecraft head. What I'm going to do now is in the first space, I'm going to go ahead and slip stitch, yarn over and pull through, tighten that. In that same hole that I just slip stitched into, I'm going to come in from the inside of the work and I'm going to go ahead and yarn over and pull that yarn into the inside of the work. In the very next space over, I'm going to come in from the inside, grab that tail, go ahead and pull that through as well, and then just take those two pieces of yarn and tie a knot with them. Again, just bringing everything on the inside of the work to clean up the outside of the work. I'm gonna go ahead and stuff that tail inside. Now I'm going to go ahead and attach the body to the head. Grab my polyfill here. Grab some stuffing, some polyfill. Stuff that. Remember that we want to make sure there's enough stuffing where there's structure, there's support, where it actually feels like a plushie, but we don't want to overstuff and then it loses all of its shape and becomes more rounded. We don't want it to be super rounded. We also don't want any stuffing showing through the spaces of the work. Okay. So I am good with that right there for now. I'm going to go ahead and grab my yarn needle or tapestry needle and go ahead and thread that through. Got it. And I'm going to put, I'm going to sew the body in the center of the head. So. I'm going to make sure that there is a little bit in the front and a little bit in the back. Okay. So prop it up just like that. Find where the yarn is attached to the body. I'm going to sew flat along this edge and then I'm going to sew as close to a straight line along this edge. So. Here, I'm going to go right along the edge there. <clears throat> Insert. All right, I'm ready to go long ways. Go. And just follow 
as close to a straight line as you can. All right, now we're going along the side. I'm going to go one more along the side. Okay. And now I'm going to go inwards along this line. And I'm back to along this side. Mm, great. Make sure I didn't miss any spots. Looks like I attached in all spots, so there were no major holes. I'm gonna go ahead and tie a knot now. So I'll go back through. Hold some yarn back with my thumb. I'm going to twist it, so twist. Come in from behind and slowly release and that just forms a knot. And now I will go ahead and insert my yarn needle all the way through the work and pull it through. And that secures the yarn inside all that polyfill that's inside. I'm gonna grab my scissors and cut that off. Perfect, okay, so now we have the head and we have the body. Next, we're gonna make the legs or the little feet. 